So, the purpose of this video is to talk about the negative responses that my girlfriend has been getting to her, uh, to her fitness success at work. We started going on in October of this year, and when we started going out in October, my girlfriend was weight proportionate to height. She's always, she's never had a weight problem. She was always blessed with that. But she showed an interest in working out, and she started working out regularly. And, and I introduced her to barbell training. She'd never done that before, and uh, it's been a it's been a learning process with her, a frustrating one sometimes, but a very joyful one for the most part. And her body's changed, her mental attitude has changed, her spirit has changed. She has changed herself for the better because I don't have to ask her to come train with me. I don't have to ask her to train. She likes to do it all on her own. So that being said, she's made these changes for herself. And I remember back in October, in November, she said that, wow, there's like this new attitude people have towards me. It's really, it's really nice. They're really being nice to me. But what's happened now is that she's not getting such, uh, she's not getting that nice vibe anymore. Here's the latest story. Two days ago, she came over to train and she just had a really negative energy and, and, uh, and, I said, well, we can't, we can't go on with your training until you let out what's going on with you. And so what had happened basically was that she got, uh, she got disrespected as she was clocking out. She got treated coldly by a group of coworkers. She used to clock out with her coworkers and they all walk out of the building. Not two days ago, they all clocked out, but they all walked faster ahead of her and left her in the dust. Wah, wah, right? Okay. See, guys, we wouldn't give a shit about that. We might a little bit and be like, huh, what a bunch of dicks, right? But we wouldn't care. But it's different with women. See, that's a very aggressive thing, right? That's a very aggressive thing that speaks volumes. But my girlfriend needed to hear that. Because what that says is that they're jealous. They don't like the fact that she's improved herself. They don't like the fact that she shows the result of her training on her Instagram page. And, and trust me, you can go to my Instagram page, find my girlfriend. It wouldn't be too hard to find her. And you can look at her page and see that it's nothing but a page of positivity. That it's her channel, her Instagram her Instagram is nothing but positivity, a few little workout videos, and and some weightlifting, you know, attitude stuff, but it's nothing cringy. But to people who aren't training to to catty ass women who want everybody to stay the same and they don't want another woman to look better than them, that's natural, right? At least that's my understanding. Tell me I'm wrong. So she got all this hate, and now she knows who's who's with her, and now she knows who's against her. But I said, that's good. Now you don't have to worry, right? And more will come out, and, but some people will see it, and they'll come to you, and they'll ask you, how can I get what you have? That's the beauty of it, is that that's the people you wait for. Those are the people who will be your allies. Those are the people who you who you'll... Who, who will be your friends down the road. Those are your solid friends. Those are your future solid friends, right? And some of the people who hate you will, will mature when on their own time and they realize how cold they've been to you. And some of those people will also be a genuine friend. But for now, just look at what you're getting and sort it out, right? And my girl, she's not stopping. If anything, it's fueled her desire to become even more fit, in which it should. People told me I'd fail on the snake diet, and you know what it did for me? Because I was in the right mindset, it made me want to be more successful on the snake diet. Now, through that experience on the snake diet, it's made me want to understand how to feed myself better. 
and I just put a video out how five meals a day is not the right choice for me. One meal to two days is the right choice for me. And just to validate that one to two meals a day thing, one of my favorite power lifters, a guy named Richard Hawthorne, only eats twice a day, and he is pound for pound, well, he used to be pound for pound, the strongest power lifter on the planet. 130 pounds and can deadlift 600 pounds for five, six reps. And he, lean, lean lifter, eats twice a day. So it's, you have to find what works for you. And in the meantime, you're going to get some hate, right? So now I know five meals a day is not right for me, and I'm leaning out. My girlfriend knows that the training is right for her, and that, so, so what if people aren't going to like it? You just got to move it. You just got to keep it moving, man. And if they want to come by your side and be positive along with you, then that's just a true, that's just true allies. That's only good. And those who want to stay behind you and bite your back, let them go ahead and bite your back because they don't have the strength to get in front of you because right now if they did that, you'd only run over them. And they don't like that. But that's okay. Stay positive, babe. All you women out there, don't worry about the hate that you're going to get. Think about what you're going to get for yourself. All the guys out there, think about what you're going to get for yourself. And no, it's a process. It's going to take time. But if you keep on fitting those puzzle pieces together, the puzzle comes together. It does. You know it does. All right. Anyway, um, I don't think this video has gone long. I think I've said exactly what I want to say. Love your haters out there because they're only going to make you better. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.